Let me tell you bitches what a boss do. Okay. Never let a nigga double cross you. Uh -huh. Always let him know you got the sauce to it. And if he cheating, fuck his friend. That's a boss move. Woo. I'ma go to work on you soft ass hoe. That's a 15 charger, bitch. The whole hood know. What's up, out there, everybody? This is the loyal shooter back once again with another mixtape slash album slash project review. Uh, before we jump off into this, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button, mainly the subscribe button. I really appreciate everybody who's been listening, following, liking, subscribing, sharing over the past couple of months. So the content that we have out here on Loyal Shooter Media, um, I you know, intend to keep on going and not stopping. And I appreciate all of the love and all the feedback. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you will not miss new content as it comes out. Now, this uh, artist that we're actually reviewing today is an artist that I could not wait until this project came out. It's an artist from my home city of Columbia, South Carolina. Um, really from, I guess, Hopkins, I think, but, uh, from Columbia, South Carolina or South Carolina period, just from, she's from, she's from the turf, from the, from the crib. You feel what I'm saying? Um, she goes by the name of Rennie Rucci. All right. Rennie Rucci spelled R E N N I R U C C I. She drops her project today, May 24th, 2019. She drops it. It's called Big Rennie. Um, much anticipated since she began bubbling out of the city a couple of years ago with her little baby freestyle, um, that, you know, did basically went viral. You call a couple million views, um, and a couple of other tracks that she put out. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and jump into big Rennie. It can be found on all streaming platforms just by typing in Rennie Rucci. Um, it's out now. Um, I had listened to it. I listened to it about two times today and we'll go ahead and start with the album cover. So the album cover, the project cover, it features Rennie Rucci standing in a very, uh, boss like pose. Um, she's standing straight up. Well, not really straight up. She's just kind of standing with her head cocked to the side a little bit. Um, looking like a goddamn boss. She has her hands on her hips. One thing I do like about the way she's posed in this album cover is the fact that she's not posed provocatively. Now, there is some provocative element in this particular cover, but it's not the pose. It's not like she's seducing you with her. If you like what you see, you like what you see. But she is a boss and commands it by the way she's looking at this album cover. Now, what makes it provocative is the fact that she's topless, except for what looks to be Machino or Muschino, however you pronounce it suspenders that are covering up her nipples okay she's absolutely topless except for the machino covering up her nipples suspenders covering them up um she's standing in front of what looks to be a a bridge by some water there's some questionable characters in the background by a mercedes g wagon and there's hundred dollar blue face bills flying around her at her feet and legs all right there's also big rennie which uh is written in what looks to be handwriting around her head and there's something on top of her head that looks like a rag or a cloth or a hat or something i don't even know what that is on the top of her head but um you know that's pretty much it there's a parental advisory sticker on the bottom left corner and rennie rucci's name does not appear anywhere on this particular cover it just says big rennie um which i guess is also her name and the name of this album cover so you don't really need to have her name on there in order for you to know who the hell it is but we're gonna jump right into this particular album the first track okay it's called tap out tap out starts out up tempo it's a decent track to me it's braggadocious lyrics basically i got this i got that y'all don't here's what i can do that y'all can't now, I actually ran this song back when I first heard it uh, to really scope how it worked as an intro track. And while I do agree with artists sometimes wasting no time and jumping right into business, I would have loved to hear more of an introduction to the project as a first track. I mean, this is like her first official project. Introduce us to Rennie in more than just three bars and, you know, introduce us to what's going on here. Now, the song is good, don't get me wrong, but I just would have wanted a stronger track for an intro track for the first song of her first project. Second song goes in, it's called Act Funny. Now, this is a song that's already been released. I'll go ahead and put the description in, in the, uh, the, the link in the description. More braggadocio on this track, but more focused than the last song. The beat of this song keeps with the same vibes of the first song. Kind of a West Coast, mustard on the beat, blue face baby type up-tempo bounce. Really good for twerking and bopping. This is a solid song, solid single. Third track is called Light 30. 
Um, now, with this being the third track on the project, as a listener or as me as a listener, I began to grasp the vibe and the sound that her production team is giving her uh, on this project so far. Like I said earlier, it's this West Coast sound bop that's, you know, all three of these last beats have created for her. Now, being from the same city as Rennie, I've heard her on different styles of beats and the sound that this production team is giving her is a far cry from the sound that I've grown to love her music on. Now, this song is still hard. It's more brag rap. And I, I knew by looking at the title, Light 30, that she was going to rhyme Light 30 with Steph Curry in the hook, which to me is lazy ass writing by, you know, whoever wrote this. And we'll get into that later. But that's just my opinion. It's a decent song, Light 30. Now, the next song is called FTLOTM, which stands for For the Love of the Money. Uh, West Coast, Blue Face, Baby, Up Tempo, Boom, Bap, Bop, Bounce Beat once again. Um, it also has kind of a Florida Kodak black feel when he gets on the Up Tempo beats. There's some dude named Lil Marlo on this hook. Her flow is clearly West Coast influence if you listen to the song. Um, that, that flow is straight out of the West Coast shit of today. She finally actually shouts out the home team for the first time on this song. She has a line that says, South Carolina in this bitch hole. And then there's another line that says, from the Met, Wolfpack be the set. All right. Um, if you're not familiar, the Met is uh, short for metropolitan area, but it's a short that we from the Met call the Met when we talk about the Met. Right. So I'm glad to hear her shouting out the city on this, shouting out the home team. I like this song, too. It rise. I'm going to be real clear, though. I don't really like the sound they've created for Rennie with these beats. But within that sound, these songs are good. They work. Number five, the track is called Forever Mine. Now, this song is the first song that to me is actually about something. It deals with a past relationship, the feelings of failure from that relationship. And there's some singer named Jazz who's singing with some heavy post-production enhancements on the hook. Uh, this song is the first song that actually feels genuine to Rennie, uh, to me. Now, if you want to believe the rumor that Rennie Rucci does not write her own shit, I would say to that, this was the first song on the project that she may have actually wrote because I really feel it. It's good shit. It's giving us a little bit about her. Uh, number six is called Bike. It's the first song with a recognizable producer tag, at least recognizable to, you know, I guess the people from, from the home team. Quay Global produces this beat. You know, cook that shit up, Quay, that guy. Uh, more up-tempo. There's a Quavo sounding dude named Blab or B-L-A-B. On the hook and an auto tune, Rini Rucci delivers two verses with basically more bragging about everything from how good she fucks to how much of a real bitch she is. It's a decent song. It's a filler song, in my opinion, but it's a good song. And I'm also glad that she didn't go back to the West Coast blue face baby boom bop, bop bounce that she's been going on for the first several songs. Now, next song is called Surgery. This song is hard than a motherfucker. There's another one that, that was previously dropped. This this song is. It's another one that's previously dropped. It has a video. I'll go ahead and leave the video to the uh, link in the description. The production on this song and the engineering seems a lot more layered than the other songs. But this shit is hard. I love the beat. It feels like Rennie. She's bragging about a bunch of different shit. But a lot of the lines play on the word surgery. So it's not just a bunch of random shit. Now, I wouldn't be a good commentator of music if I did not mention the controversy surrounding this particular song if you have not heard recently Rennie Rucci was called out for stealing bars on this song from an artist and personality named Amy Luciani or Luciano or some shit um, Amy Luciano World on Facebook uh, on Instagram now the bars in question are Bitches be taking fat out their stomach to stick in their ass. Bitch, you a gag. Better go do you some squats. Better go run you some laps. I keep a blicky. You could get shot in your titty. Um, and like a, a bar or two after that. All right. Now that little three to four bar run is said by Rennie. The exact same cadence and identical words to this other female artist, Amy Luciano. Amy Luciano released a snippet of this particular song featuring these bars back in December of 2018. Rennie Rucci's song Surgery. This song came out in goddamn April. Um, so, you know, Rennie addressed it very loosely, okay, uh, that it was a misunderstanding, I think something like she said or her team said, as did the other artists, but to me it's highly unlikely that this is a coincidence. What I think is that the rumors are true, and Rennie does have people writing for her, like a lot of people and a lot of motherfuckers, uh, niggas and bitches in the industry, and I think somebody fucked up and stole this other girl's bars and gave them to Rennie, or maybe the other chick is a writer for artists and she just forgot that she posted that shit um, before, and she sold it to the people who then gave it to Rennie. Either way it goes, I don't think Rennie Rucci herself is to blame for this because I don't really think she wrote this verse. I'll let y'all listen to the snippets here and you can form your own opinions. Let me know what you think in the comments, but here they are. 
Just the stuff in they ass. Bitch, you a gag. Better go do you some squats. Better go run a few laps. I keep a blicky. You gon' get shot in your titty. Please don't be she gonna take the fight out of them. Just the stuff in they ass. Bitch, you a gag. Better go do you some squats. Better go run a few laps. I keep a blicky. You can get shot in your titty. Whatever you think of that is what you think of that. Now, the next song is called Fuck Em Up, Sis. Now, it's another up-tempo song, meant for the clubs, dance song ready, strip club ready, same content, bragging about her body, sexual prowess, with the hook that encourages dancing. There's even an eight-bar breakdown for the beat at the very end with her not saying anything. This song is aimed specifically for the club. I like this one because it's clear what the purpose of this song is, and it delivers the way that it promises from the time it comes on. Love it. Next song is called Switch. I really enjoyed this one too. I'm a fan of songs that um, that seem to be seem created specifically to sound the way that they sound, and this one seems like that from the beat to her, the way she delivers, to the way the auto tune is put on there, to the hook. I really, really enjoyed this song. It's another one that's way different from the overall tone of this project in that it seems to be more of a personal song. It deals yet again with a failed relationship, and Rennie's proclaiming that she's gonna have to dip and make the switch on her man. I love her flow in this track and the auto tune. It does run a little long. I think the song could have been done without the third verse it didn't really add anything to the song other than making it one minute longer than it would have otherwise been but it's still a solid song showcasing her versatility i really hope she wrote this song too because the lyrics are very very dope and the last song in the project is called elevators now this song is fucking hard Another club song aimed at the up-tempo dance shit, but she kills it. Now, this one is not really a uh, West Coast boom bap blue face baby beat. It's more of like a Juicy J type ass goddamn beat, but um, she really, really kills it with these two verses. And there's a stack on the hook, and it's hard as fuck. Elevators, elevators. You know what I'm saying? Shit is hard as motherfucker. My only thing about this song is that I would have loved to hear the hook come back around a second time and the beat to ride out, especially given that this is the last song to close out the album. To me, Elevators might be the best song just to me, but overall, I can say I do have mixed feelings about this project with the majority of it being that I, I like it. I'll start with what I like about it. First and foremost, Rennie is an artist from my city, Columbia, South Carolina. Um, she actually may be from Hopkins, I think I said it earlier, from one of the country towns, but she popped out of Columbia, South Carolina. Um, and she, you know, she came from the club, got a deal, put out a big project, and this is something to be proud of as a resident of the city that she came from. I love her delivery on this track, uh, on this on this project. Uh, her verses are good and they are consistent. Um, there weren't any weak tracks whatsoever. It has replay value, especially given that it's for the club and also for bitches in their cars wanting to, you know, have bitches twerk while they're driving, that type of shit. Um, it's great for that, and it will satisfy both old and new Rennie fans alike. Now, I can summarize what I don't like with an umbrella statement. It seems like her team has a huge influence over her direction as an artist, and I really don't like the direction they seem to be taking her. I didn't really like the beats on this particular tape, with the exception of a few. Didn't really like them. But even with the poor beats, the songs on the beats are good, just not what I liked you know, hearing from her. They have her on these blue face mustard on the beat sounding up tempo beats like they're trying to create that as her sound and box her into this style of poppy strip club dance songs like Rennie can't actually spit. And if you're from the city, you already know that she can. If you're not from the city, look up some of her old shit. Rennie Rucci can spit. Now, we also can't overlook the possibility that she possibly has people writing for her with the comparison of those two songs. Um, Surgery and that song by Amy Luciano, bitch. Uh, girl, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. I gotta watch what the fuck I be saying. But I really do think Rennie Rucci can write. And I hope Rennie wrote the songs that she popped with, like the Little Baby Freestyle and, you know, her earlier shit. But if she did not write her earlier shit, it is disappointing that she doesn't write her shit. And if she did write her earlier shit, then fuck the writers who gave her stolen work. And that's all I got to say about that. I also wish that there were more shout outs to the city and to the state. Would have loved to hear her putting on for the state and for the city throughout more songs. I also would have loved to hear a feature from somebody from the city who's popping. There's several. You got DZ McDuffie. You got Black Zach. You got Mr. You got Smoke Gambino. You got Riverside KP. Um, and I'm sure there's others that I'm, I'm missing out on right now. We also uh, could have maybe had a Jetson May beat or a Nico Baby beat. Something to just keep her in tune uh, in tune to the city. It should have been more of that, right? Now, um, me being from the same place, I'm trying not to be biased here, but I really don't think it's a whack project, and I stand by that. Um, she delivered a good quality body of work, and I really do look forward to uh, hearing more of her as she continues to make waves throughout the music industry. I'm going to be listening to this all day today and adding a few songs to my playlist, so good work, Rennie. I hope everybody knows that my criticisms are purely from an unbiased, objective point of view. 
Um, to me, the weakest song would have to be Tap Out, not because it's a whack song, but just because, uh, to me, it doesn't work good as an intro, as an album opener. The best song is an argument in my head between Elevators or Switch. Probably Elevators because of that sh the way that shit rides, and she kills those verses, and Switch just because, you know, I really like the way that, that, that song sounds, and, you know, it seems like one of those songs that a girl, you know, the girls will leech on to, uh, you know, when they're having relationship problems. Gave her something to, that, that motherfuckers can relate to, other than just dancing and shaking their ass in the club. See what I'm saying? But the project is good good for what it is it's good for Rennie any fan of Rennie or potential fan of female street club rap will like it so what I want you guys to do is tell me what you think in the comments did you like it did you hate it did you love it go listen to it the link is going to be in the description let me know also in the comments what you want to hear in terms of me um reviewing artists maybe in your city or uh art if you're an artist you want me to review your shit we can link up and get that done but um you know we're just, i just want to hear from you guys i appreciate you if you haven't subscribed already go ahead and hit that subscribe button i am the loyal shooter and i'll catch you guys on the next one